Hello, Auntie Amanda. Hi. How are you feeling? Feeling good. How does it feel for you to be holding your nephew? Definitely feels surreal. When I first saw him, I was mm -hmm. like, no, nah, he does not look real. <laughs> he does not look real. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy, really happy to be able to see my nephew. And I got to leave in a few hours because I got school. Mm -hmm. Sad, but I'm happy. I'm learning how to hold him, reposition him. And he was sharing with Zion about Jesus. Mm -hmm. So you want to share a little bit, and then we're going to sing a little Actually, song. Actually, sing first. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Nice. Amen. Now I'm gonna tell him about Jesus. I gotta look up. <sighs> look it up right here. Make sure I'm doing good. <laughs> I use mom as a phone holder. Alright, here we go. He's gotta be somebody special Ooh, one Jesus. day. Ooh, he's very special, yes. It's a song. It's gonna be special. Mm -hmm. It's a song that um my teacher used to sing to us in when I was in uh kindergarten. And she said, um, uh, I heard us in, I think, school, or it was on one of the little nurseries, and it just stuck with me because it's such a short song, mm -hmm. but it says so much. When I grow up, I'm going to be somebody special, somebody special, because what I'm going to be. Sounds familiar. When I grow up, I'm going to be somebody special. I'll be me. And um, it's very special because all of us are special in our own way. We all came into this world to contribute something to this world, a unique talent or unique talents that God has given us to glorify him, to be a light to the world. And Zion is one of those special vessels that the Lord has brought into the world to glorify Him. What is it that you wanted to say, Amanda? I want to tell him about Jesus. Okay. In the beginning, Jesus created... <laughs> it's okay, honey. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And I only say that because Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit are three in one. Mm -hmm. But God was here before Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, in the beginning... God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth didn't have form. It was empty. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Amen. And God saw the light, that it was good. Amen. And God divided the light from the darkness. He did. And God God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. God said, let there be a f firmament. firmament. Thank mm -hmm. you. The, I'll tell you about what that means when, when you're older. Let there be a firmament in the mist of of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters mm -hmm. I know a lot of water and God God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day and God said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in one place mm -hmm. and let the dry land appear and it happened and God said, 
Let the earth bring grass and herbs yielding seeds. Oh, yes. And the herbs. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Herb yielding seeds. Mm -hmm. See, I messed up there. That's no, okay, honey. And the fruit tree bearing fruit mm -hmm. after his kind, trying to simplify it. Mm -hmm. Whose seeds in itself upon the earth and it happened. He's so peaceful right now. Yes, I hope he can hear is. me. Yes, he is. We're re reading to him, and his spirit is receiving the word in Jesus' name. Amen. Right, Sai. Trying to make sure he's comfortable. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for, let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and for years. And let them be the lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it happened. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find a simpler version to talk mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. But this is what I have at the moment. Mm -hmm. Well, they had, you oh. know, yeah, just hit a huge movement Zion, there. Zion's dreaming. Zion, what are you dreaming about, honey? Candy. No, no, no. You don't need to <laughs> dream about no candy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's dreaming. I wonder if he's visiting God in heaven right now, talking to him and God telling him things. All right, next. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day, which is the sun. And... What was I? Oh, the greater light to rule the day, which is the sun. And the not as great light to rule the night, which is the moon. He made the stars as well. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Mm -hmm. And to rule over the day and over the night. And to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. He's moving his little arms. <laughs> and God created... Did I just skip something? I yes. Don't. Okay. And God said... Let the watery spring forth upon the. You don't have to, you know. Okay. I don't know. Because well, I don't know if your arm's going to hurt. Or, I was just okay. wanting to show you. Well, yeah. I'm reading him. I was reading a little to Zion while he's sleeping. Plant these nice seeds of the Word of God in his spirit. Zion, we love you, honey. We love all of our viewers. We hope everyone is enjoying this blessed day. In Jesus' name, hugs and kisses from us to you. Talk to you soon.